I'm going to show you how to make a yarn buck. This yarn buck has a mustache, but you can accessorize your yarn buck any way you want. You're going to need yarn and a piece of cardboard to get started. You'll also need a styrofoam ball or egg. You can use other things too just to give it some height, but it's a lot easier if you have the styrofoam ball and you want to stick pipe cleaners in for accessories. You'll also need some glue. I like to use this glue here. It's a fabric glue. It works on everything. And I put it into a little container because it's easier to squeeze. And if the kids are sharing, you're able to get uh, more use out of it. A little craft stick or some toothpicks. A little bit of glue goes a long way. It bonds almost as fast as hot glue, but you don't have to worry about the kids burning themselves. It is a little bit stringy and a little bit messy, but works great. You'll love it. You'll also need either our patterns for hands, feet, and in this particular case, mustaches. Go to makingfriends.com and you can get these patterns printed. If you prefer, you can purchase some of this stuff pre-cut, like the feet we sell and the hands in multiple colors. That way, if you're having a party or a large group, it's a lot easier for you. You also need the wiggle eyes and any accessories, like this guy's wearing a hat. Or you can make your own accessories if you'd rather. What you need to do to get started is to wrap the yarn around a four inch piece of cardboard about a hundred times. This is something the kids have fun doing. After you've wrapped it around about a hundred times, it doesn't really matter, but the kids will have fun counting to a hundred as they wrap. You slide underneath one side a pipe cleaner, or well, actually this is a third of a pipe cleaner. You just need a little piece. You can also tie it with a piece of yarn, but it's a little easier to just twist a pipe cleaner snugly around like that. Okay, turn the card over and using sharp scissors, can't really use school scissors for this because it won't cut through the yarn, cut through the middle of the other side that you've tied the pipe cleaner around. And it looks like this. Then what you do is you turn it sideways and sort of let the hair fall out. Put your hand up inside the other side like this. And this is going to be the basic part of your yarn bug. Take your styrofoam ball and push really hard on a flat surface. And that will flatten out the bottom so it stands easier and it doesn't roll away. And you're going to take the yarn and lay it down on top like this. All right, a little bit of glue on the styrofoam ball first. Hold the hair in place. Okay, now you want to pick your feet. We'll go with purple. Okay, and you glue the feet like this. If you used our pattern, it's already two together, so you don't have to do this part of it. Glue those. We'll glue on here. your yarn ball on top. Spread the hair out. Sometimes you need to give a little haircut, a little trim. This one looks pretty good. Doesn't need too much of a trim. Now we'll add some wiggle eyes. See how nice they stick? If you used another kind of glue, they'd probably be sliding down right now. 
Then we want to decide what to do. Now, if you're making the mustache yarn bug, you want to cut out the mustache. I think, though, that we might change this up just a little bit from the one I showed you, and we'll make it into a clown. We have this top hat here. Uh, get these from makingfriends.com. You can make your own if you're good with some duct tape or other supplies. And I added um, little pieces of red feather boa and a flower and a piece of ribbon. And that's going to be his hat. Okay. And then I think he's going to want a red pom-pom nose. Just dip it into the glue and place it in place for a nose like that. Uh, if you want to take it a step further, you can add some hands to your yarn bug. This is where it is a good idea if you use the styrofoam ball because you can glue the hands, foamy hands, which we sell at makingfriends.com or cut out the patterns that we provided you can just push it into place into your styrofoam ball. Otherwise, it's a little bit difficult to try to glue the hands onto your yarn. Push it in. Okay. And we have our clown yarn bug. Thank you. The good thing about this craft is you can totally make it your own. It works with almost any theme. Uh, here I have a mouse that I made earlier out of the same um, white yarn. Of course you don't have to use white yarn. I just had a bunch laying around. Uh, you can use any color. We have purple yarn uh, and many other colors at makingfriends.com already pre-wrapped like this. So if you are worried about the kids having to share balls of yarn, you can purchase it this way and then just cut through and you've got the beginnings of your yarn bug. Again, our mustache yarn bug is really popular right now because the kids are totally into mustaches. So if you want to get these patterns, you can just visit makingfriends.com or pick up any of these other supplies.